I am Chooks. Mwa Chuku. Right. Well, uh, we brought an application to refer our matter directly to the Court of Appeal. So the learned judge said that we need to satisfy him on some issues before he would uh, uh, rule whether to make the reference or not. So he talked about uh, issues of uh, local standard jurisdiction and uh, whether or not the, the matter is already before the presidential uh, election uh, uh, tribunal, election, I mean, petition tribunal. So those are the three issues he said we should satisfy him on. Uh, we have addressed those issues in our originating summons, but then he explained that he was yet to look at the summons. So we are simply going to lift the arguments we have already made on the summons. We are going to bring it to the fore, you know, for him to look at. What is the crux of your matter in court? Yes. Number one, the matter is on behalf of the residents and voters of Abuja. And uh, we simply uh, want the court to acknowledge that the residents of Abuja have a right to either approve or reject of whoever will be president of the country and who in that capacity will be like their governor, the one that regulates their daily lives, that approve of him, show that he has a level of acceptability uh, amongst them. Uh, uh, with at least 25 percent of their votes and therefore that anyone any candidate at all who has not obtained that 25 percent of votes in our in abuja uh, ought not to be declared uh, uh, president-elect and then we are also addressing the court with respect to the effect of such because one of the, the, the major thing that has been afflicting this nation has been this fear of a vacuum being created if anybody announced by INEC is not sworn in by May 29th. There have been this belief that it will result in a vacuum and it will result in crisis. But we have brought it out to the court that the Constitution has envisaged such a situation. The Constitution has made provisions for that. Under Section 135, uh, subsection 1, in the way and manner in which the Constitution creates the four-year term of office, it has made it that it will not uh, take effect unless and until you have a successor take the oath of office. So until a successor takes the oath of office, the president, being now Muhammad Buhari, remains the president of Nigeria. The purpose of that provision is to guard the provisions of the Constitution uh, regarding how somebody can emerge as duly elected. Without that provision, the constitution will be in disarray. It means that anybody who manages, by whatever means, to have himself declared as winner, you know, would have to be sworn in. And the major, this is a major issue of constitutionalism that in order to avoid such a thing where people who do not merit power, you know, stampede their way into power, wherever there is contest, wherever it is not clear who should assume power, the person holding it should continue to hold it. It's a principle of law. It's a principle of law. And the Constitution expressly 
states it. So that is what we are saying. So it does not, nothing stops this court from hearing us, hearing the residents of Abuja. And the court has asked us, okay, we will tell the court the issue of jurisdiction and all of that. We don't see any problems with uh, the issues that the court has raised, mm -hmm. and we believe that we are going to satisfy the court. Sure. Yeah. Yeah.